If you're like me, you spend most of your day on a computer and in front of a terminal, you know, coding or looking at data, you know, basically trying to get this machine to do the things you want. This is the autocomplete.sh install uh, tutorial. It's a quick one. You can do a lot with the terminal you may not know about. We're gonna have some fun with it. At the end, I'll show you some other uh, cool animation things you can do. So let's go um, to autocomplete.sh, the website. Pull that up. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the install command. And we copy and paste in this, this command. Now this uses wget to download the script from the website, and then it pipes it in bash. So we're gonna do that really quickly. And it, so it downloaded it, running the installation. It says you need an open a AI API key and it stores it in this config file. If you don't have one, um, you can create one at this website. I have one uh, in another file. I'm just gonna copy and paste it really quick. Perfect, so now we're ready to go. So what is autocomplete.sh? It's as simple as hitting tab button. You know, if you're trying to write, you know, you might try to write a function like wget, you hit tab, it fills it up, right? Or if you're uh, you're used to hitting tab to, to fill things, so if you hit tab twice now, it will send a command to OpenAI in this case, and it will return back the next likely commands. If you don't know how to do something, you can just type it. I usually just do um, comments, so say like write word complete sh in green in, in ASCII characters. In ASCII, that's fine. So I hit twice, you see it turns green right there um, and gives me back some things. So let's go here. The first, the first suggestion, uh, it's echoing a command. So it's doing something about writing it. These commands, which I always forget, is gonna print it in green. So just hit Control U to delete it. There we go, autocomplete.sh in green. Right, this one looks a little more fun, so copy that one. Figlet, it's a you know, program I always also forget about. Paste that in, and then it pipes it the lolcat, so we'll see what happens there. <laughs> and boom, so that's pretty cool. So unlocking the powers of you know language models, bringing it right in, using it to, to generate um, some, some great commands. Possibilities are pretty limitless with this tool. You just kind of know, um, you know, what you can do with it. What about, you know, something like this? So C matrix. So thanks again for checking this out. Go to autocomplete.sh to install it and check out the GitHub repo and uh, you know, good luck out there. See you in the next video. Thanks.